When I started my curly hair journey, my hair was fried. I've been straightening my hair since I was, I don't know, 10. My curl pattern was completely gone. The heat damage that I put on my hair for years and years definitely got rid of every single curl pattern I have. One of the important things I had to understand, if your hair is damaged to the point where you can't salvage it, get it cut. It just has to go. I know it's tough to get rid of length. It's definitely worth it for some health. Number two is using a bond builder. So the meaty part of your hair is all kept together with three bonds. These bonds can be damaged due to heat, chemicals, bleaching. That's how the hair loses its texture it starts breaking off it becomes stringy one thing you can do to fix that is get a bond builder one of my favorite bond builders since day one has been Allplex number three I used to do this once a week religiously while curl training in the first couple months I saw the results change so drastically from my hair being so stringy and damaged to starting to see the bounce come back. What I'm gonna do new today, I'm going to try Olplex number five is a bond builder conditioner and a bond builder shampoo. I hear a lot that Olplex is a protein treatment and that's just not true. Does Olplex have any protein in it? No, it does not. Do you have to use this with the shampoo and the conditioner? You're kind of almost overdoing it. For me, I've always just used the number three. Olplex was kind enough to send me the shampoo and their conditioner. I'm going to use it as well, but I only use this every couple of months just to give it an extra boost I guess I definitely like to use the Olplex number no. three with a more hydrating shampoo and conditioner this can leave your hair feeling a little dry it is a treatment it's for your bonds but it's not a deep conditioner I always love to use it with a hydrating shampoo and sometimes even a deep conditioning treatment after that that would give me the ultimate magic combo right there my hair just loves that combo but the bottle does say you, for severely damaged hair you can do this two three times a week if you're planning to bleach your hair if you're planning to do any kind of clinical treatment dye your hair i start my routinely Olplex treatments beforehand so my hair is strong enough to handle that and then i continue afterwards so i can repair any damage in the bonds that happen during those treatments i'm going to try to curl train as i go curl training is going to help your curls remember their pattern now if you don't have curl hair don't expect curl training to give you curls this is only if you have natural curly hair we always want to start with towel dry hair that hasn't been shampooed yet start our treatment with the Allplex number three so you really just need a little bit each section start at the bottom because the bottom is what needs it the most it's the oldest part of your hair is the most damaged your finger detangling we're trying to repair damaged hair you don't want to damage it some more and curl train cut the part in half just twist all the way down and then I'm gonna repeat this process on every section of my hair. We're gonna leave it on for 10 minutes. Once your hair is dry, Olaplex stops working. This stuff is unnecessary. If you think it's too much work to curl train every section, don't. Just apply this onto your hair and then just put it out and leave it on for 10 minutes. I just wanted my curls to come back as fast as possible because the transitioning period where you stop straightening your hair, you're trying to get your curls back is the worst. Your hair looks not straight. It doesn't look curly. It's so frizzy. And then you're also trying your best to accept your curls i wanted my curls to come back as quickly as possible that period was the hardest period ever and it lasted for about two to three months after three months my curls started to look good now that my hair is very healthy i only do the old flex treatment once every couple of months because i don't apply any heat to my hair i diffuse every now and then i let it air dry don't straighten my hair i own a flat iron anymore that makes me so proud if your bonds are not damaged the old flex treatment is not going to do anything for you now that my hair is done, I'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes. We're gonna hop in the shower. Let's go. I started by rinsing the treatment off as much as I can and releasing my hair from the twists. Then went in with the number four shampoo. This shampoo is very thick, very rich. So I would recommend emulsifying it in your hands first for a better lather. And then I rinsed it all off very, very well. Then I went in with the number five conditioner. This conditioner is so rich and so thick and it gave my hair an amazing slip. I can feel the hydration just penetrating my hair. I used it to detangle my hair with my detangling brush. It was very easy to just go through my hair. After I rinsed it off, I wanted to add a little extra hydration to my hair. So I followed up with a hydrating treatment by Fenty. This treatment just gave my hair the extra hydration that I was really craving this summer and I just left it on for a couple minutes before rinsing it off with cold water. This is an important step because it helps seal in all the hydration that you just apply to your hair. Now that we washed our hair, my hair feels very strong. It's not stringy. 
it's not breaking off as I pull on it. That means my bonds have been repaired. It's very hydrated. It feels very soft. I'm gonna go ahead and have a one product curly hair routine using the Fenty Hair Home Curl Curl Defining Cream. This is the second time I've been using it. The first time I used it only on half part of my hair and I loved how it turned out. So this time I wanna do my entire hair and I wanna track how long I can make it last before I have to rewash it. I tried the Fenty Hair entire hairline in its own video. So if you'd like to check it out, I'm gonna link it out for you right here. I'm gonna do my entire curly hair routine. It's all finished. Oh, my hair is finally dry. It took forever. I took a nap accidentally on the couch waiting for it to dry and it's super crunchy. That is music to my ears. I love when my hair dries crunchy because it means it created a nice cast for my hair while it dries and the cast kind of holds everything in place so I don't create frizz. So don't you worry if your hair dries crunchy and you think your style is ruined, it is not. It actually means your style is going to last you much longer. And I'm gonna show you right now how to get rid of the cast and how to create as much volume as you want. So one of the first things you wanna do is you wanna coat your fingers with some sort of oil. Any oil of your choosing is fine. You want your hands to be slippery, not create resistance on your hair, so you're not creating frizz as you're separating each curl. So I'll start with separating all my curls. The more you separate, the bigger the hair, the more volume you're going to get. And you know me, I love a lot of volume. I'm starting to feel my hair feels amazing and very strong and hydrated. The volume is there, the definition is there. It just looks so amazing and so healthy. Allplex is for the win once again. Have you tried any bond builders? If so, let me know in the comments and let me know which one is your favorite. There's a lot of bond builders out in the market. Some are way more affordable than others and I just really wanna find out which is the best bond builder out there. <laughs> Don't scare. Try to capture everything. Get out of here, man. I know I smell delicious, but come on, bro. And then also once a week, I would use the Repair Don't Despair Brugio? 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 Briojo. <sighs> okay, don't do that. This is, oh my God. Ah, I burnt myself. I overfilled it, man. I changed my mind about the steamer because it malfunctioned and it burnt me. Oh, hurts.